So the next exam review question is about uh, the news vendor and uh, hopefully this is clear as I'm uh, uh, recording in the afternoon sun and it looks like our light is actually pretty good. So the news vendor is a uh, is a is an ordering question. It's that based on that learning exercise that we did in uh, in class, and was also a question on the midterm. Someone asked me to uh, review it uh, again. When I do an exam review, uh, it is not a suggestion that the question is or is not on the exam. It's just responding to a specific question uh, that a student sent me. So this one is. Uh, Mike sells Sunday papers outside of a retirement home papers sell for two dollars and forty one cents an odd number but uh, it's my example and cost 64 cents. The residents like Mike and aren't too worried if he runs out, which just relates to the cost of being short. If, if, if you lose customers in the long term, then the cost of shortages go up. But if he orders too many papers, he recycles the extras. So he doesn't get any salvage value, he, he essentially uh, loses the money. How many papers should Mike order? Uh, demand is uniformly distributed between 18 and 38 papers per day. So there's the question. Uh, you have a perishable item that you can't store. You can't sell one Sunday paper the next Sunday. If you order too many papers, uh, you have to recycle them. If you don't order enough, you lose the opportunity to sell them. So that's called the news vendor problem. And to solve the news vendor problem, we have what's called the critical fractile. It's called the critical fractile. And CS is the cost of shortage. So what happens? What happens when you run out? Like what do you lose? and CO is the cost of over ordering. If you have a cost of over ordering, which means essentially it's uh, in this case it's just the cost of the newspapers. If you had some salvage value, so if someone else would pay you some money uh, to, uh, to get uh, to, for those papers but it's less, then you would not you would include the salvage value so that your cost of shortage would go down. Uh, and if you, uh, if you have to actually pay to dispose of things, then your cost of shortage might go up. But that's, that's what those uh, factors are. So in this case, the cost of overordering is equal to 64 cents. Right. If I buy a paper and I can't sell it, I'm still out the 64 cents, uh, and uh, and I just recycle it. I don't get anything. Cost of uh, shortage is equal to two dollars and forty-one cents minus 64 cents, 
uh, because I, if I'm short, it means I haven't spent the 64 cents. So uh, actually what I'm losing is the margin I would have made on that, uh, on that uh, newspaper. So in this case, CS over CS plus CO is equal to 73. So that's what's called your critical fractile. And if you then look at, we know that demand is uniformly distributed between 18 and 38. That means each one of these spots in there is equally probable to happen. So uh, the range is 20. So from the bottom to the top is 20. That's the, that's the outcome. When we did this, in class, zero was a possibility, and so the from zero to the top was the range, but in this case it's from 18 to 38 is the range. So then we take the range and multiply it by the critical fractile. Fourteen point six nine. So we then round that up and we get 15. We then add to the minimum, which is 18. So you're going to sell at least 18. That's what this means. You know you're going to sell at least 18. You're going to sell somewhere between 18 and 38. And the critical fractile you multiply times the range. 18 plus 15 equals 33 papers. So your optimal order quantity in this case is 33 papers. That's how many you want to order to maximize your expected return over time. It doesn't mean you're going to sell 33 every time. It doesn't mean you're going to equalize the number. What you're going to do is it, the number of times you're over or under. What it does is it equalizes the cost of being short or being long. So what happens then if your cost of uh, uh, over ordering goes up? So if, if, you're, if, if the newspapers cost you a dollar, then this ratio would go down, your minimum order would go down. What happens if your cost of shortage goes up? So if your cost of shortage goes up, then maybe you could sell them for three dollars. This number gets bigger, that number gets bigger, and so your, uh, your critical ratio goes up. So this is a function of the relative size of shortage, cost of shortage and the cost of over-ordering. And as the cost of uh, over-ordering goes up, you have a lower number, and if the cost of under uh, uh, under ordering or shortage goes up, you tend to order larger numbers. So that's uh, really all I have to say about uh, the news vendor. Uh, I was asked to, to review it and uh, there you go. I hope that's clear. If it's not, give me a shout.